What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Quinn DW20 Quinn Way coming to you with a quick throwback video flashback. Oh my god, Gilbert Arenas, Hey Bachi, Agent Zero, a guy that put up 29 a game in the NBA, a guy that put up 28 a game in the NBA, a three time All Star, showed one of the best second round picks of all time. He was picked second. I mean, 31st in the second round, and he became an all-star more several times. He was an all-NBA third-team player, an all-NBA second-team player for one year. He was a most improved player, rookies challenge MVP, and he was an all-Pac-10 first team in his career. He was one of those players that continued to work and perfect his craft. He was not really sought after even in high school. So with that being said, he worked on his game and continued to improve and grow as a player. And he became one of the best players in the league, hence the second team, hence the third team, hence the three all-star selections. He was he showed that hard work does pay off because if you're a second round pick, nobody really expects you to be an all-star. Nobody expects you to be one of the best players in the league, especially if you just pick 31st. You basically a role player at best at the max. Give Arenas the fight all odds. He perfected his game, continued working on his jump shot, his shot selection, and he became one of the elite scorers in the league, putting up 29 and 28 points a game. It's crazy that Give Arenas was how good he was if he wasn't did the gun charges and he didn't become stupid. And he then he he kind of fell off offensively too when he was in Memphis and when he was in uh Orlando, he, he didn't really get the starting spot in Orlando, but Gilbert Arenas did. He wasn't even that amazing that year in Washington. He only was putting up like 15 and some points a game. Ain't like he was putting up 20 points a game before he got traded to Orlando. But Gilbert Arenas he was dominant. He can shoot. He can score. He can pass. He can finish in the paint. He had he just dribble, dribble, lay it up, dribble, dribble. He wasn't super explosive, but he got the job done. He knew when to attack the paint. He knew when to drive. He knew when to shoot. He had confidence in his jump shot. Like I said, you've seen the games against the Lakers when he just had that confidence that he can make everything. And a lot of the times, like in that Portland games, he was horrible because of that confidence. But some of the most of the time, he was putting the – Gil Arenas put over 50 points per game a couple games. He put over 60. Gil Arenas can go hot. He can go unstoppable. Like I said, he perfected his craft to the level where a second round, you've never seen too many second round players on that level to drop 50, 60 points. You know what I'm saying? Gil Arenas got hot. He was consistent and put up 29 and 28 points a game. You have to be very consistent, and he got the job done. And like I said, he, he was a multiple-time all-star. He can shoot the ball amazingly. He pull up jump shot was unstoppable, especially from the three-point line. He'd just be like, fake, fake, pull up three. And he'd be like, what the fuck, cash? I remember in that in some games, they were just looking at the rim, especially against, like, the Celtics. And when they were playing against each other, hey, Bocci would, like, dribble, and he just pull up for three. He's like, damn. His jump shot was, he just had so much confidence in his game after one point. He just had so much confidence flowing through him that he would pull up a pull-up jump shot. If you was one inch away from him, Two, three inches away, he'd just pull up the jump shot. Like KD, you see with KD? If you give KD a little space, he's going to pull up that jump shot, and he's going to, majority of the time, knock it in. And that's just confidence and that's just skill level to be able to have that much game to be able to knock them kind of jump shots in. Gilbert Arenas was a good ball handler. He was a good playmaker. He was a finisher in the paint. He was a decent free throw shooter. And he defied the odds with his hard work and his ethic, work ethic to become a good player. And that's why I think why a lot of people got to respect Gil Arenas for what he accomplished as a second-round player and what he had to do to be an all-star and what he had to do to get all-NBA second team, what he had to get all-NBA third team. You have to give Gil Arenas a lot of credit for his work ethic and his ability to defy the odds and continue to play on a high level. Like I said, he had a decent career. It should have been better, but let me run down the numbers. He averaged 25.5, 29, 28. And one season, we averaged 22. He got messed up by the gun charge, and he got messed up by some injuries that hindered his, his career. That's why we're doing a throwback on the player that could have had a good career. 
but end up not having the best career that we thought he would have had. And he only 32 years old, so he still could play at a elite player level if he would have stayed in the NBA. If he could have stayed in the NBA, he still could have played at a high level if it weren't for the injuries and for the incidents with the guns. So with that being said, we're going to end the video. But before that, I got to have some quick things to say. Hit the like button. Hit the comment. If you leave any suggestions, I'll respond to every uh, comment. Leave suggestions. If you want me to do a particular video about a player or a certain thing about the NBA, as long as the NBA. And on top of that, subscribe and check out my older videos. Before you subscribe, hit, check out my older videos. And if you like my older videos, subscribe. And if you like this video, you should subscribe too. And let me know what you guys think about the throwback video. If you want me to continue this series, if you still subscribe. If you want me to continue this series or you just think I shouldn't. This is a new series I'm going to start. And if, you, if people want to continue watching, they will continue with it. If you don't think it's a good series, then I will stop it. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to continue with it. This is just experimental to see if the people like it or not. Thanks for the view and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your